Hello, good to have you here. I love to talk. Um, this question is on page 168 of um, Functional Mathematics, Book 1 by TM Asiro et al. So the question says in figure 10.43, line PQ is parallel to line RS and the angles are shown. Find X. So it's given that um, line PQ, okay, line PQ is parallel to line RS, and we're told to find X. Now, between these um, two parallel lines, line PQ and line RS, there could exist other parallel lines, so we can. Um, create other parallel lines just so as to project um, some relevant parts that can help us to solve this question. So now um, let's um, recreate this diagram a little bit, not changing anything. Now let's create another um, parallel line here. Okay, and let's call this um, U, 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 um, okay, let's still leave it at UT, and then, now, so we now have three parallel lines, we have line PQ, let's extend this a little bit too, let's extend this a little bit too, and let's extend this one too. You can extend um, a parallel line to any length you want. So now, with this, um, the whole thing is a little bit um, is is a bit clearer. So now we have. So now let's look at um, these two parallel lines. Let's look at line PQ. Okay, let's call this place S. Let's call this place S. Don't know if you can see it. And let's call this place um, W. W. Okay. Now, between line PS is a straight line and uh, line UV. There is this QT, a transversal line. Okay, connecting the two parallel lines together. And then between line UV. And line RS, there's a transversal line. So, if this if this um, is um, one forty degrees, if this is one forty degrees, let's call this place. Um, let's call this angle here. This small angle here. Let's call it. Uh, let's find this angle. Let's call it angle Q. Small Q. So. We have that um, um, one forty degrees plus um, Q should give us one eighty degrees. Sum of angles on a straight line. So this implies that Q is equal to one eighty degrees minus one forty degrees, and um, Q is equal to forty degrees. Now looking at Q. You can see that Q is alternate to now just look at um, the parallel line PS and the parallel line UT forgetting every other thing don't look at any other thing just look at these two straight lines these PS and this um, UV now and look at this transversal line connecting both of them together so if this is um, If this is 40, if Q is 40 degrees, that means this is also 40 degrees. Just here is also, it's also 40 degrees. Alternate angle. So Q is alternate to this. So 
or an alternate angles are equal now since the whole of this place is 55 degrees and we have only this place to be 40 degrees that means this place is just here is um, 15 degrees 15 degrees making it a total of 55 degrees now let's look at the parallel line u v and r s r w these two parallel lines are joined together by this transversal line t s and this implies that um, there exists a um, relationship between the angles formed at their points of intersections so this implies that this angle let me use um fine color this implies that this angle is alternate to this angle and this angle we have gotten this angle to be 15 degrees so this implies also that here is also 15 degrees and if we have there to be 15 degrees so it's very easy to find our x because So we now have that um, we now have that um, x plus um, 15 degrees is equal to 180 degrees sum of angles on a straight line. So this implies that our x is equal to 180 degrees minus 15 degrees. Therefore, x is equal to um, 165 degrees sorry 165 degrees so that's our x this question is on page 168 of functional mathematics for senior secondary schools by tm asiro so the question says in figure 10.44 Line AB is parallel to line CD. Find the values of N, P, and Q. So these are the um, two parallel lines. Line A, B. It's a straight line. Line A, B, and line C, D. Now, this unnamed line, this unnamed straight line, is um, a transversal line cutting across these two parallel lines, A, B, and C, D. Now, at the points of intersection between this transversal line and these um, two parallel lines, um, angles have been formed and there are relationships that exist between these angles. Now, you have that um, this angle, 112 degrees, is alternate to this angle Q. And alternate angles are equal. And angle N is alternate to angle P. So once we find angle N, it's the same, it will be the same thing with angle P. So readily we now have that our Q is um, equal to 112 degrees. So we can just write it. Alternate angles are equal. So our Q is equal to 112 degrees. So what is left for us to find is angle N and angle P. So now looking at the straight line AB, you have two angles on it, 112 degrees plus N. And sum of angles on a straight line is 180 degrees. So. So this implies that our N is equal to 180 degrees minus 112 degrees, which implies that N is equal to 68 degrees. And um, we said that N is equal to is equal to is equal to P. Reason they are alternate angles. So since N is equal to 68 degrees. It also implies that, um, okay, since N is equal to 68 degrees, it also implies that um, P is equal to 68 degrees. 
So we have found our Q. Our Q is um, 112 degrees. Our N is 68 degrees. And our P is 68 degrees.